All right, I'm not going to yap too much and get straight to the point. There are two things most programmers refuse to do, and they're exactly what separate the good from the suspiciously good. First, have a humble brain. And I don't mean start donating to charity, though that, that could be a great place to start. I mean genuinely accepting that you can always learn more. Most developers plateau because their ego gets in the way. They reach a certain level, start thinking they're the next Tony Stark, and that's exactly when they stop growing. The developers who get insanely good are the ones who never take defeat personally. They always say, I can learn this. When they see code, they don't understand. They don't get defensive. They get curious, weirdly curious. When someone critiques their work, they don't argue or question whether you even code. They ask questions. That's programming 101. You have to learn from your mistakes. When they hit a bug, they can't solve. They don't blame the tools. They dig deeper. A humble brain is like a sponge. It absorbs everything. But an ego is like a wall. It blocks everything out. And here's the thing. Being humble doesn't mean you're not confident. It means you're confident enough to admit what you don't know. Because the moment you realize you're not Tony Stark, you start learning faster. You ask better questions. You find better answers. And you grow exponentially while everyone else is stuck protecting their pride. But humility alone won't get you good. You need the second thing, obsession. Every programmer came into this world the same way, not knowing what code even is. Some code for money, others code because that's all they want to do. And unless the first guy is David Goggins, he will never beat the second guy in coding. Because the second guy is obsessed, and honestly, coding requires obsession. As one developer put it, sometimes I think coding is, by necessity, obsessive. You have to hold so many details in your head that I'm not sure it's possible to code without obsession. You'll find yourself debugging code in your head while you're in the shower. You'll wake up at 3 a.m. with an idea and have to try it immediately. The developers who are suspiciously good aren't just putting in hours, they're putting in obsessed hours. They finish a project and immediately start another one because they can't help themselves. That's what separates people who code from people who master coding. When you're obsessed, you're not just learning, you're consuming, you're experimenting, you're pushing boundaries, and most importantly, you're consistent. Here's what you need to know. If you combine a humble brain with obsession, you become unstoppable. The humility makes you open to learning. The obsession makes you relentless. You ask questions other people are too proud to ask. Stop pretending you know everything. Start being obsessed. Speaking of building real skills, if you're working on side projects, you need authentication. Building auth from scratch is a massive time sink. That's where Clerk comes in. Production ready auth in minutes. Google sign-in, email verification, all the stuff that normally takes weeks. But Clerk isn't just auth. They handle organizations for multi-tenant apps, invitations, role-based access, the whole setup. And if you're building a B2B SaaS, Clerk billing integrates with Stripe. Subscription tiers, free trials, feature gating, all in a few lines of code. I've used it in multiple projects and it just works. No fighting OAuth flows, no security vulnerabilities you missed. If you want to ship projects instead of building infrastructure for months, check out Clerk. Link in the description. Thanks for watching and subscribe so you stay obsessed.